It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots coming up next. Autumn has come to New England. No place like it on earth this time of year. We are at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Today we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon God and Charles Davis back with you. And Charles, for years, a trip to Foxborough quite often led to a loss for opposing teams. But the Patriots have been, in essence, a 500 team since the departure of TB12 three years ago. And things have switched because they are a defense-led team, and that's what's kept them in most games. Their key, can they get more explosive on offense and truly establish who their QB1 is? And meanwhile, for the visiting Chiefs, it's business as usual. They come in as defending Super Bowl champs, and they feature what was the number one scoring offense in the NFL a season ago. The consistency is the key, and it all starts with the head coach and emanates from there. Offensive coordinators have been around the team for a while. They understand how these players operate and what it takes to put them in position to be successful. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. thousand yard rusher a year ago here's Ramon Ray Stevenson and a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards well you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four do you they'll take that on first down playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six the ball resting on the 20 here's second and six now Jones got a man it's Tyquan Thornton and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Throwing Jones. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. And it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, here's Stevenson. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. A four-yard gain. It's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Beringer on to punt for the Patriots. Kadarius Tony deep for KC. And no return here. Where will they spot it? 
They say just outside the 20-yard line. So here come the defending champs, led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award, check. League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw here is incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Now a second and 10. Now Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. You know, Patrick Mahomes, guys, he's playing at such an elite level. Defensively, coming into a game like this, Charles, what <laughs> it's got to be a lot of things, but what worries you the most? I think you're exactly right about that. The list is extensive about what worries you. The way he can move, make completions on the run, the way he can throw against his body, heck, make left-handed throws, you name it, he gets it done. The biggest thing, though, is once he gets into rhythm, trying to get his timing chipped away, trying to stop that, that is really difficult to do. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Mahomes going to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. the perimeter but that time they were up to the challenge so the failure to connect on second down that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight throwing there but this pass is going to wind up incomplete that was the first third down try of the game and clearly something was off in the execution of that play good news they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws on fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From the 22, here's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Jones. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Third down and one. Looking to throw. Jones, he'll dump this down to Stevenson. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, 
little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow, and, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it, any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon to about the 33-yard line. Holding offense. Man, this is ridiculous, man. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. to throw, it's Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlin. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and six. Here's Mahomes to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rice. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now one yard to go on third down. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. It wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went ahead and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. Meanwhile, the home throw taken in by Valdez Scantlin. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards that time. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the Patriots' 12 yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Kadarius Tony, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. New England trying to get to place on offense. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Now a play fake here on first down. Right side, Thornton with it. And it's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 23 yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And shedding through the tackle. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this up to the 28-yard line. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Now Jones throwing on first down. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Operating from the gun. Jones and this one is going to be off the mark too far out in front one thing I have learned receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline but do that over the middle to them and not only are the DBs gonna throw a little verbal trash their way when they get back to the huddle they have a few words to say to their QB aren't they yeah hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw luckily fell incomplete Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Back to throw again. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, Parker, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 44-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch. And oh, he sheds himself free. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. They go play action here on first down. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That one goes for 
24 yards. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. Jones off the bootleg. Man open left side is Brown. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? On second and goal. Jones checking this down to Stevenson. Touchdown, Patriots! Ramondre Stevenson, a five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. They kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now here's Mahomes. And he is caught. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes his fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings. For some reason, it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first he, quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. On first down, Mahomes. And his pass incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Here's second and ten. And again, it's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Yeah. 
Mahomes now to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. These two teams all tied after one. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. Mahomes to throw once more. And that one too wide and incomplete. Well, with a dime left on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and ten. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence is really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Yeah, he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, no, no. plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did you see the quarterback just point to the sideline and say, uh-uh, everybody back. I've got this call. Well, you knew this side of the field, they're in plus territory, fourth and one. He wasn't coming off the field. No, he wasn't coming off the field, and he wasn't letting the offense go with him at all. He said, we're staying out here, and we're picking this one up. That's some leadership right there. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there, freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Second and five. Mahomes going to throw. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Don't do us like that. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Now Mahomes. Touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Certainly, there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. 
Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Now Jones. Over the middle, he's got Parker. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 in the first down. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then, but they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time in a first down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. One advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Throwing Jones. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slam. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Running left is Stevenson. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Back to throw, Jones. That'll be caught by Parker. Still going. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Devontae Parker, 54 yards. And the Patriots are an extra point away from evening this one up. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post grab? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Now Ryland for the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. Sends this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. KC's offense ready to take over. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. 
And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Mahomes now on first down. Caught here by Bell. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be taken down at the 46. It's a pickup of six. And their first down, the Chiefs. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46 to throw. It's Mahomes. He finds McKinnon complete. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Brings up second and seven at the 43 yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. Well, that one caught by Rice. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. An eight-yard pickup. First down, Chiefs. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Pick up the six. Brings up second and four at the Patriots' 14-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're secure in the football. When you get out in the open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up the first down. A good red zone run there, nine yards, and it'll be second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack, that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Shotgun snap to Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the right for the defense they had what they wanted and he drops the ball yeah just couldn't hang on to the slam they'll try and run with Pacheco and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown Isaiah Pacheco a touchdown run there from a yard out and the Chiefs have moved out in front Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You There's run it over your run. best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is now 21-14.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Getting set to go again on offense, here's Devontae Parker now. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 16. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds Parker. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he has to get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Here's second and five now from the 22. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This time, it's third and three. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and three at the 41-yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now the Holmes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. A big play there for KC, 43 yards. Oh, I think we all understand his disappointment. Didn't quite get to the end zone, and you know it's just got to be tough to see a yard line underneath you after a play like that. Still, all in all, a huge play, and now they're set up first and goal at the one. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat. Chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. 
Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now up to 14. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. New England's offense set to go. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it but we know they're going to continue to be bold. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Off play action, Jones. A quick throw there is incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw. Jones work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime, we'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Throwing again on second down. Jones, and the Chiefs are going to get him. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. But that's a down and distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. After the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. 
The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Now here's Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Well, the secondary has really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just follow the basic rules. See ball, not ball away. Turns into a nice play. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Kadarius Toney with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Butker on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it's Kadarius Toney who caps things with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring them in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Jones now throwing to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. to throw again. Jones over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now they need two. Here's third down. Back to throw. Jones has set up the screen for Stevenson. And he will have a Patriots first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. to throw again and that's going to be incomplete and attempted a deep ball there they didn't get it but boy they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest decent sized deficit but not one that they can't manage so line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10 Off the play fake, Jones. 
And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. He was defended by Brian Cook. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. This was Coach. an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. We got a strong first half out of the running back, Isaiah Pacheco. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. All right, coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Two yards to go, second down. Again, it's Pacheco. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Two yards, good enough for a first. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, 
sees the short yardage runs and goes to one of those. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. And he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Patriots 30. 23 yards to pick up there. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Mahomes now on first down. Over the middle complete. That's Rice. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 27-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. His throw incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. they got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Now Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. This is second and eight. Here's Mahomes to throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. So five yards here, five on the play. And this will wind up being a third and three. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Butker's kick here is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Oh, 
And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks. And now here's a tackle behind the line. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now Jones. Got his man. It's Thornton. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 34-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. First down. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. So now first and 10 in Chiefs' territory at the 34. Now a handoff. Stevenson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Throwing Jones. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. A 48-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them.
Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But well, looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Now the Georgia Southern man, this is Jarek McKinnon. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlick. And yeah, they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11, first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space. Let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal.
Throwing now is Mahomes. And it's caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and goal from the one. Here's Pacheco, and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco punching it in from a yard away as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Sometimes offense, if you get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So the Patriots coming out now. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blow out, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. A gain of three, second down. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. Here's Jones, off the play fake. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw, Jones. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Isaiah Pacheco and the offense back out. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four, you want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three, now in search of four. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And he's taken down inside the 30. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield. And there's another completion. On first down, Mahomes. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And the first down, the Chiefs. And 
as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like that. He will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and there even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Extra point by Butker is on target. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. 46 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Now Jones on first down. And he's taken down a cheap sack. Chris Jones busting through to get him for a loss of six. Well, I wish his staff luck as they try to find positives about this performance by their offense as we move through the early part of the fourth quarter. That sack, the latest example. Down by a boatload, this offense simply can't keep up, and the quarterback is still taking hits. I'd get the backups in there if it were me. And this complete to Henry over the middle. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. The offense on third down, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and five. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 45-yard line. A couple of big plays in succession there for the Pats. They're on the move. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. So now first and 10 in Chiefs' territory at the 45-yard line. Back to throw. Jones into the hands of Smith Schuster on the crossing pattern. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. It's a game of eight. Brings up second and two at the Chiefs 37 yard line. Second and a couple. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll find Smith Schuster again. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 27-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Back to throw again. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 
Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Uh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face the challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That'll be caught by Parker. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Looking to throw, Jones. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now. And all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown! Juju Smith-Schuster, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Patriots get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects, and he's able to deliver the ball on time. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Patriots 24. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The ball back to the Chiefs and Isaiah Pacheco. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. 77 yards on the ground for him now with four touchdown runs tacked on. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. 
but you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Second down, McKinnon. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Mahomes to throw on third and one. That is caught. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 18. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. I'll tell you what, Barter, the way he's been slinging in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. Calling a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. It's with the pick of three. Brings up second and seven at the 14-yard line. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. And he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up. But he certainly will have some explaining to do. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Now that was a terrific play. We're down here near the goal line, and only one word comes to mind for me, and that's overwhelm, because they absolutely overwhelmed the offensive line. He came free and made the hit in the backfield. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have taken a five-touchdown lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal Harrison line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now out come the Patriots. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Back to throw. Jones. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 14 yards is the pickup there in the New England first down. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more on that one and another first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Jones. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Now a throw here to his running back. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be second down. Out of bounds at the 26-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Throwing Jones. Got Stevenson again, back-to-back -back plays. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. Stevenson. We'll take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. So, Carter, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Patriots. 31. Yeah. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25 now the Chiefs offense they get ready to head on the field well, they don't really need the points here Charles given what we're looking at on the scoreboard but They've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. 
and things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it, and while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Just need a yard here, second and one. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. 112 yards rushing now on 23 carries so far. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. They find some open field here. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Brett and every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's OK. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking.